Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to create charts using LibreOffice. So the first thing you need to do is open up your web browser, go to Google and type in LibreOffice and then click on the link LibreOffice.org. Click there, click on this download button and then download, select the right operating systems, you might be on Mac on Windows or Linux, click the download button and follow the basic instructions and install the software as you would install any other software. Once you've done that, you can then go and open up LibreOffice Calc. The software we're using today is called LibreOffice Calc. So I'm going to click on that and the first thing we should always do is save our document. It's so going to go to File, Save As and Just give it a file name. Okay, so let's zoom in a bit here. And in this first column, I want to type in month, and in the second column, I'm going to type in revenue. So, in this first chart, we're going to imagine that we're running a business and we want to have all of the months down here and how much revenue we generated in each month. And we're gonna create a chart which shows us how much revenue we generated over a period of a year. So let's highlight these two with our mouse and we'll make them bold. These will be our titles. And we're gonna click on this cell, uh, sorry, click on the column B and right click and then click on format cell. And we wanna turn this column into a currency column. From this drop down, you can select a different currency value that's applicable to your country. I happen to be using British pounds. I'm going to click OK. In this column here, in this cell, I'm going to type in Jan, representing January. And what I'm going to do is, in the once I've typed in Jan, I just want to move my mouse cursor to the bottom right hand of this cell, and then left click, hold down the mouse button, and drag down to cell 13. This will drop generate all of the months. Let's just save this. So in the revenue column, I'm just going to make up the figures to represent how much revenue was generated in each month. Okay, we have some data in here now. So I'm going to click the Save button. I'm going to hold down with my left mouse button and highlight only these cells which have data in them. Let's zoom out a little bit. And I'm going to click on this Chart button here. When I click on the Chart button, as default, it's going to load up a column chart. So this is fine. In this first example, we'll use the column chart. There's a few things that I want to do to this chart. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on chart elements down here. And I want to give the chart a title. So let's just call this yearly revenue overview. And as I type in that information, that title will get displayed here. I'm not going to give it a subtitle. The x-axis runs down the bottom, so I'm going to type in here month, and the y-axis is down the side, so I'm going to type in here revenue, and I'm going to tell the software to put the legend across the top here. This is almost it. this this information here. I want it to be at the top, like this. I'm going to click the finish button. So you can see very quickly we've entered some data in and we've managed to generate this chart. I'm going to click out of the chart area in a blank space somewhere and this will allow us to move the chart around on the screen. So let's just move it to where we feel it's applicable and then I'm going to move my mouse cursor to the bottom right hand corner and drag the chart in 
to make it a bit smaller something like this we can select this cell data here and we can go to the border styles uh, sorry the uh, borders here and click this button option to draw borders around the table or these cells here let's click the save button the reason we did that is when we go to file and print preview we can see the table data here and we can see the chart sitting next to it now let's close this so let's create a different type of chart we're going to highlight this same information and we're going to click on the chart button one more time when this pop-up displays in this example we're going to click on pie chart and here you can see a pie chart you can click on 3d look if you like it to be 3d style you can have it like this i prefer 2d i like the flat example like this we're going to click on chart element again and in here we'll type in yearly revenue and this chart doesn't have an x or y axis um, only x and y will be applicable to bar graphs and bar charts but we'll try and put the legend to the top like this and i think it looks a bit better and in this case we can just click finish so let's resize this one as well we'll click out of this out of the chart here in a blank space we'll click back on the chart and then we can resize that one as well you'll notice that this chart is covering over our previous example so we need to drag it down now we can see both examples let's create a different type of chart with multiple rows of data so in this example let's make life a bit easier we'll highlight and select all of this data here in this first column we'll press ctrl c to copy or you can go to edit copy here and we'll scroll down to a blank section here and we'll press ctrl v to paste or you can click edit and paste here in this column here we're going to write telephone bill in the next one we'll write in fuel cost and the last one here we'll write in travel in fact we'll just write in here travel cost let's make it a bit easier okay let's highlight all of this 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 section here and let's draw a border around it let's just save our work and we're going to highlight this section here with our mouse holding down the mouse we're going to drag and highlight we're going to right click and format cells and we're going to set that to currency as well so we need to type some data in here now i'm just going to make this up Okay, so we have some data in the spreadsheet now. So we can say this is our telephone bill costs, this is our fuel cost for our car when we're driving it, and this is our travel cost when we're using our public transport, for example. So let's highlight all of this information. In fact, the first thing we should do is highlight these titles and make them bold, all bold. Yeah, let's do that first. So I'm going to highlight all of this information and click on the chart tool again. So in this first example, we'll use the column chart again, and we can see this time around we've got data represented in different rows here, different columns here. And here we can see the legend. So the blue ones are our telephone bill, the orange is our fuel cost, and the yellow is our travel cost. So we'll click on chart element, and here we'll just type in...
yearly expenditure. The bottom axis will be a month, the y axis will be a cost, and we'll put the legend across the top. Let's try it at the bottom, see what it looks like there. We will stick to the top for now. And we'll click finish. So here we can see a multi column chart. Let's just resize that. This is a good way to represent data. If you've got lots of information, you want to see it maybe in a different type of method, different type of view, especially if you're dealing with a lot of different types of data sets, then charts can be a good way to see data quite quickly. Um, and may help you to see possibly where you can save cost as well. For some reason, the fuel cost was 90 pound at this position here in May. There might have been a reason for that. Um, possibly the way of saving money as well in your business. So let's select all of this data again and we'll click on the chart tool and we'll create one more final chart. And you should really experiment here. Pie charts are really only really good for um, data with two columns. Pie charts don't really work with multi-column. So you'll see that it's only going to pick the first set of data from this column. So pie charts are good for two column data. You can experiment with all these different charts um, and have a play around and see what works for you. We'll try line graph. Line graphs are quite good. So in this example, we'll use this line graph, but play around with all of these different options. You can, you know, some of them look a bit more fancy. You can have it like 3D. I prefer flat images. So it's all down about, it's all down to experimenting with the software. We'll click on chart element. And here we're typing out yearly expenditure. This will be our month. This will be our cost. We'll put the legend across the top here. We'll click finish. And we'll click outside in a blank area. And we'll resize this one as well. So you notice these like darker black lines here and here. This represents where the page is breaking. So really we want to try and get our chart to sit somewhere like here, where it will be within that first page of content. And this one's sitting outside as well. So I won't worry about that too much. Maybe you'll print your data on one spreadsheet and you could have your charts on a separate, separate uh, document on the side here. But let's just save this and go to print preview and see what's going on. Yeah. So here you can see all the different types of charts. You can reposition them and have them look a bit better. You can put them on separate spreadsheets, separate documents. The goal of this tutorial is really to show you how to create the charts themselves. So feel free to download LibreOffice Calc and experiment with the chart tool and see what charts you can create for your business. Okay. I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.